This little device is a Johnson Standard Exposure Calculator. When cameras didn't have exposure meters or people didn't carry uh, external exposure meters, many, many photographers relied on something very similar to this to work out the exposures for their shots. This particular type was made in 1946 and it's a six and a half centimeter uh, rotary exposure calculator made of uh, ivorine. It's a plastic which simulates the, uh, the appearance of ivory. Uh, it was reviewed first uh, in December 1946 in the British Journal of Photography uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use it and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to take some pictures with it. So to use, the first thing you have to do is line up the black arrows. So I rotate this until I find a black arrow and I have it there. The next thing I've got to do is select the scene. Okay, so I'm going to assume for argument's sake that I'm going to use a, a scene that has distant buildings and wide streets. So I take that slot notch there and I rotate it round till it stops. The second thing I have to do is turn the dial over and repeat the process for weather, time and film speed. Okay, so I'm going to turn the, uh, it over. Let's assume we've got weak sun today. My time is, well, it's March and I'm going to be photographing between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So I do that. And the speed of the film is actually uh, 100 ISO that I'm going to be using, which on the BS standards is equivalent of 31. So I turn that around. I turn the device over and it tells me that I should be using f5.6 at about a hundredth of a second. Well, I'm going to take it out to the cemetery that lies at the back of the house and we're going to try it and see how accurate it is on a mo well, reasonably modern uh, digital camera. So the first thing I do is line up the arrows. There we go. And this is sort of, well, I'd say it was open landscape. So I'm going to turn this dial around from that notch. Then of course to turn it over. And it, remember it says weather, time and film speed. So on this side, I'm saying weather, it's now dull. So I'm going to put that there. Time, well it's between three and six in March. So it will be this notch. And the film speed here is, I'm actually gonna use 200 ISO on the camera. So it's this notch here. And I turn around. And again, curiously, I have F5.6 at a hundredth of a second. Right, I'm shooting this with a Pentax K110D digital camera, which has got a 6.1 megapixel uh, sensor on it. So uh, I've set up the camera at 125th of a second at f5.6, which is the closest equivalent to uh, the numbers that the calculator is giving me. So let's try and take some pictures. So the results are a bit dark. They're straight out of the camera, they haven't been adjusted at all. I reckon they're about a stop out. The, this calculator is un, telling the camera to underexpose by about one stop. Knowing that, of course, I could adjust. Uh, in reality, I'd never bother because I've got a meter in the camera. 
uh, but it's interesting it's an interesting piece of historical evidence and an interesting piece of the history of photography